Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm coming with something a little bit different. We're going to do a bit of a tutorial. I'm going to teach you how to take a 2D object and attach it to your avatar to create a toggleable channel point for Twitch. Um, it's a long process, but I will explain it as clearly as possible. So let's get started. We're going to go and create a new project. Um, 3D core, create project, you can name it whatever you want, uh, I'm just going to keep it as my project. Okay, so this is basically the canvas that we will be working in. Um, this is Unity. I'm using Unity 2019.4.31 F1. You need to use this version of Unity for any of this to work. Um, the plugins will not work properly on newer versions of Unity. So I would suggest using this version so you don't waste your time and create all this lovely stuff and then not have it work because it was the wrong version of Unity you were building in. Um, that aside, let's get into it. You're going to need two plugins for any of this to even work. Um, we're going to be using the Uni VRM plugin. Um, this basically allows you to import and export your uh, VRM avatars. Um, and then we're going to need the VSeatFace SDK. Um, this will allow us to create those toggleable animations um, for VSeatFace. Um, this tutorial is only going to work in VSeatFace. Okay, so I've already downloaded them, so I'm not going to download them again. Um, but you should be able to just open them and then they'll apply to your project. If they do not, however, I can show you how to import them. So we're going to go to assets and then we're going to go to import package and then custom package and then it'll open your um, file explorer and then you can go and find the packages you wish to import. So we're going to use the UniVRM first. Uh, we're going to open it. Um, for this one, you will get a pop-up saying that they recommend to change a setting. You're just going to accept that and um, apply it. We're going to accept all. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing to import the... VC face SDK package. This one won't have any um, extra stuff it wants to change, it'll just work. Okay, once you have both of the plugins installed, you'll see them pop up over here, VRM0, and then VC face SDK up here. Um, we're not going to do anything with those yet, um, but what we are going to do is import our VRM avatar. All you have to do is drag and drop it into Unity, so let me just put it in there. You see the little loading screen and then it'll start importing. It may take a couple of minutes, a um, few seconds to properly import, but you'll notice once it's there. Um, it'll pop up with all these extra asset folders and then your avatar will be here. So we're going to click on your avatar and then open in prefab. And look at that beauty. Look at the avatar. Absolutely wonderful. What we are going to do next is pick which bone we want to attach our image to. Um, for me, I found what worked better was attaching it to the neck and like upper body area. Um, for a lot of people, they attach things to the head. I just found that it moved weirdly. It didn't move like with my whole body um, when I attached it to my head. So we're gonna look over here for the neck um, bone. Here. And so we can click that and then it'll show us the neck. Um, once we have the neck selected, we can go and right click and then we're going to go and go to 3D object and then we're going to go to the quad. And then we've created a quad. Look at that beauty. Um, we're just going to rename it real quick. I'm going to rename it frog with two G's for funsies. Um, and then we can leave it at that. Um, what we need to do next is work on adding our materials and textures. Let's do texture first. Our texture is basically just going to be the image that we want to attach to our model. Um, so I'm going to drag that into the folder here and I'm going to click on the image and I'm going to make sure the alpha is transparency is enabled. I'm going to check it um, and then I'm going to click back into the folder and then apply. And then so now this will be transparent and not on a black background. Next, what we're going to want to do is create a material. So we're going to right click and we're going to go create and then we're going to go all the way down to material. Um, and then we've created a material. We're just going to name it frog with two G's again. Um, click on it. 
And then we're going to go to the shader right at the top. Uh, we're going to do VRM, M-Tune. So I found this is the best shader for what I'm doing. Um, you can play around with the shader, but this is what works for me. So this is what I'm going to be showing you guys. Um, rendering type, I do transparent. And then color mode, I just turn it off. Um, I didn't find a need for it to be on or anything. So that's just what works for me. Um, next, we're going to apply the texture. Um, so we're going to go to the textures folder, keep this up on the side in the inspector, and then we're going to drag and drop the texture into the lit color alpha and the shade color. And then down here, you can see this little circle thing and it's like transparent and you see like your, your image there. This is exactly what you want. This is perfect. Um, next, what we're going to want to do, we're going to go over to our frog quad. And this is where we're going to apply our um, texture to the quad. Now, I made this mistake. Do not drag and drop this onto your avatar. It's just going to change the texture of your actual avatar itself and not the quad. To change the quad specifically, what you're going to need to do is you're going to see over on the side, it says materials and then element zero, default material. You're going to go to your materials folder here. You're going to take your material that you created, so in this case it's frog, and you're going to drag and drop it over in the default material, and then you've added your material to the quad. Um, now we can work on repositioning and like sizing it up and down however you like. Um, I'm going to just do this quickly. You can use the transform over here where they have like the numbers and stuff, but I just like to manually like move the sliders to where I like it. Um, I just find that to be easier. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to the top where it says frog where you renamed it and there's a check mark. You're going to unbox it so it is disabled, it is invisible. Um, now is the fun part where we actually like go into create the toggle. So first we're going to do is going to make a blend shape. Um, we're going to go to the third one in because it has the list of all the blend shapes and then we can just click the create blend shape clip. Um, we're going to just name it like frog or something. Okay, um, and then we have our frog blend shape. My head's in the way a little bit, but it's a, it's right over here. Um, so we don't have to do anything more. That's all we have to do with that. So now what we do is we go into create the animation. Um, when I was first doing this, the animation tab was not in my Unity. I needed to go to window and I needed to go to animation and then click animation and then it created the pop out window and then I just dragged it down into this bottom bar um so then I had the animation tool so to animate what we're going to want to do is we're going to click the name of our whole entire avatar to make sure the whole entire avatar is selected we're going to go to the animation we're going to click create uh we're just going to name it like frog um and so we have this animation thing set up now we're going to click the red button and then we're going to go all the way down to frog here and then we're going to enable. We're going to click that check mark so it's enabled so you can see it. And then before we do anything else, we're going to take this white bar, move it over a little bit, and then we're going to go to this check mark here, click it off and then click it on and then click the red button once again and then disable the preview. Now that is our animation. You'll see the animation in this um, folder now. We're gonna make a new folder just to have all the animations in one place. We're gonna name it animations. Um, I'm going to drag both animation things in there and then drag the animations folder into the assets folder. Um, so we have our animations now. So we're gonna click frog and we're gonna disable loop time because if it's loop times enabled, it'll mess up the animation and it'll look weird. Um, next, what we're gonna wanna do is the final steps. We're, we're so close to being done with this. Um, we are going to go over here. We're going to add component and we're going to add animations. Um, we, we went back to the overall model and then over to the side inspector, adding component, adding animation. And we're going to add, um, and then we're going to go down to our blend shape that we created, frog, and then we see animation, non-animated clip. 
um, we're going to drag and drop frog, our animation, over here. Um, and that should be it. What we're going to do now is go to the VRM0, and we're going to export the VRM. We're going to change the versions. We'll just do one to appease appease the machine, um, telling me an error for not having a version. So we're going to export, save. Um, so now we should be able to go to um, SDK and export the avatar bundle. Um, I'm just going to put this in my downloads. Uh, we're just going to name it uh, Froggy. Oh, Jesus. Wow. That was good spelling for me. Jesus. Oh, my God. Okay. So we're going to save that. And it's going to import, export, whatever. It's going to um, do its thing. It's going to take a moment. Export completed. Okay. So next, we're going to go to um, VC Face. Okay. So we're back in VC Face. Um, and now we are going to import our new avatar bundle. Um, so avatar selection, add avatar. Um, and then this froggy is the one that we want to be importing. And we're just gonna we're just gonna scooch on over to that one because this is the new one. Okay, we're gonna select. Um, so when we go to settings and then go to the do, do, do expression settings, if we scroll all the way down, our new blend shape, which is our expression um, frog, it should be here. Look at it, beautiful. It's right there. So we can set a hockey. Um, we could do Control Shift and like W, sure frog and so when i do Control shift w it'll name a frog and then it'll be attached to me um it's it's a little wonky um because i didn't size it properly but that's basically that's basically how to do it okay so now i'm going to show you how to um create the channel point so your new um toggle enables when somebody redeems it we're gonna just do new channel point i'm gonna name it test uh just for testing purposes okay successfully created we're gonna go here and we're gonna edit the command um we're gonna go to action so the action that we want is input keyboard and mouse keyboard key we want with w for our toggle so it's w um and we also chose to do shift and control when toggling the comfy frog blanket um and it's going to be an action that clicks and then i'm also going to add a another action that is going to be a wait add i'm going to want them to wait 10 seconds oh jesus 10 seconds uh, i'm going to add another action once again for input add and then it's going to be the same input as before it's going to be w so what's this going to do is um and then shift control it's going to trigger the initial like turning on of the image um or asset if you will and then it's going to wait 10 seconds so it's going to be enabled for 10 seconds and then it's going to disable when you click the button again so we could save this and then we can test it and then look we have our channel point redeem i hope this was a useful tutorial i know i wish i had a tutorial like this when i was trying to figure this channel point out in particular um thank you all for joining me on this journey <laughs> i'll see you guys next time